so the car is ready. Got my bags in the back. And mum's got all of our supplies. Ready to go. driving from Cork, which is where I live, uh, down to West Cork to Baltimore. We're going to be staying there for a few nights, but if we see any like nice cool places along the way, the plan is to stop and see them. So our first stop is Drumbeg Stone Circle, which I've actually never been to, but I've heard a lot about. So we've just parked and this is the entrance way. There's a whole field of cows here. <laughs> Drumbeg Stone Circle. One of the finest recumbent stone circles built in the Cork Kerry region in the later Bronze Age period. Just next to that view, this is the entrance to the church. How cute is this entrance? It's right through the rock. So you've got the church. And the church has this view. Wow. Oh my God, you guys, I cannot get it over how beautiful it is down here. So we've just driven through Glandor and we're now coming into Union Hall. So we're doing the sort of wild Atlantic way, uh, coastal driving route um, down to West Cork. And it is so beautiful. There's so much to see. You guys have to come here and do this driving route. The War of the Buttons Bridge. This is where they came to fight. Our next stop is Union Hall, which is a small fishing village, very famous as a fishing village. There's a lot of fishing trawlers here um, and accounts for a lot of the fishing here in Ireland. You can see a boat coming in here. Perfect summer is over in a flash and you're on your way. But some part of me is hoping for tonight, it's not too late. excited we have just arrived in Baltimore so we used to come down here every Easter and every summer throughout my entire childhood um, my grandparents have a cottage here or had a cottage here it's now actually my aunt's cottage but she lets us come and use it and it is so gorgeous wait till you guys see the view from this cottage so this is our uh, driveway there's a beach down there and this is the cottage how is that for you guys So there's actually a pub up in the town called Bushes, but sadly um, all the pubs in Ireland are closed due to the lockdown and won't be open till either the end of June or July. So we just stopped in the supermarket and got a few beers or ciders in my case. So cheers guys. <sighs> Taste of summer. <laughs> Okay, my friend Graham has called over and we've blown up the uh, stand-up paddleboard. So I've just been going out trying that out. I don't think we blew it up quite enough. Uh, but we decided we we're going to go for a swim anyway. Uh, the sun is kind of starting to set. Not 
Oh, we've got the table laid up. We got really lucky today as one of my friends has a boat, so they invited us out on the boat and we've come out here to one of the Carberry Isles, one of the islands, and this one is called East Scheme, East Scheme, I think. Um, it's got two lovely main beaches. The whole island is shaped like a, a letter H. Um, and we're just kind of chilling out on one beach, maybe going for a swim, and then we'll take the boat back to Baltimore. So a very relaxed day down here in West Cork, but um, a bit later in the year, I guess in July, mid-July, August, you can actually get ferries out to Cape Clear, Shirkin Island, and Hare Island. That's a really nice idea for something to do if you're coming here and staying in Baltimore. Maybe some glasses of wine and then it's back to paradise. 